Welcome to a vintage model steamboat part 4, continuing the boat stand repair and fitting guide rails to mount the steam plant. The first clip was from the last episode when I held the parts together using a piece of masking tape and a spring clamp, and now 24 hours later the JB weld is fully cured so I've removed the spring clamp and here I'm taking off the masking tape. Before we go any further I don't want any viewers to get carried away. This is not a priceless antique, this is the roughest boat stand I've ever seen. I'm going to be quite brutal with it in order to repair it and make it a successful boat stand. Starting off with my Proxon angle grinder fitted with a flapper wheel, I'm cleaning up these specially shaped parts, paying particular attention to smoothing out the JB weld. At this stage I'd like to say that the wood on the upright parts was never really the same colour as the base, and during this episode you will see me doing things at it and you may think, what, what's he doing that for, that's no good, but trust me it will work out in the end. From time to time I watch a couple of very interesting TV programmes all about repairing and restoring things. And on both of these programmes, particularly one of them, the edits are really clever. They don't really show what's happening, they show a before and an after and a little bit in between. I'm going to show you most of the process, I have to edit it otherwise it would be too long. After doing quite a bit of rubbing down it's time to apply some varnish. This, as you can see, is Ron Seal Outdoor Varnish, and it's not the water-based type. I repeat, it is not the water-based type. I'm using a random paintbrush to just brush away the dust, although sometimes sanding dust can be useful in certain applications to fill the gaps. In this clip, I'm applying a liberal coat of varnish. Quite a lot. If I left this, it would just run everywhere. So what's the plan? Well, by applying a lot of varnish, it will soak into the wood, which is what I want it to do, mainly because the wood isn't in very good condition. Both the boat stand and the boat itself are quite old, and dare I say it, not very well made. So my repairs and modifications need to match the standard of the building of the boat and the stand in the first place. Hence the term once again, a sympathetic restoration. It's done the boat good to sit on the shelf for a few years because the steam plant doesn't look brand new anymore. And I'm not going to shine up the copper piping either. I want some patina on this. You've just seen me wiping off the varnish that I've applied. There is a reason for this. I do not want the part to look varnished. I want it to match in with the rest of the stand, which it will do, but this takes time. The point of this heavy coat of varnish followed by wiping it off is to make sure that the varnish fills every nook and cranny in the old wood. Colour-wise now, I could leave it as it is, but there's still quite a way to go yet. This is a tin of Great Northern Railway Frames Chocolate Brown. And just like the varnish, this is also a gloss paint. I do not want the end product to be glossy. The very last job will be to wipe on some matte varnish to make everything match. What I'm doing is mixing some of this chocolate brown with some polyurethane varnish. And I've added some black paint to dirty it up. But I've put too much black paint in there, so it's back to the drawing board. After a bit of experimenting, this is the colour that I came up with. It doesn't match the base, but then again I'm not going to paint the base with it. This is just for the uprights, which were originally made out of a different piece of mahogany to the base, which was a different colour. Here's what I did. First of all, I applied quite a thick coat, as you see me doing here, of the paint and varnish mix to the upright. Without stopping, I painted both sides of each of the upright pieces. And once again, I'm applying far too much paint. This doesn't look too bad, but it does look painted. After some work with a cloth and a dry paintbrush, it's starting to look a bit better. In fact, so much so, I think I will put it on top of my small bandsaw and let the paint dry. I'll come back to this job in a future episode. The mahogany plank floor on top of a piece of plywood needs some side rails to locate the steam plant in the correct position once it's all together in the boat. I think I've figured out a very convenient and quick way of mounting the steam plant in the boat. Once I've perfectly aligned the steam plant with the propeller shaft, I need to make sure that if ever the plant is removed from the boat, it can only go back in the same position. I'm going to use two pieces of mahogany, one at each side of the plant. Then I'm going to trim the base before fitting the completed wooden base into the hull itself. I'm going to do this in a similar manner to which the boat has been built. After marking the side rails, I drill holes all the way down them. And I'm really sorry, but on purpose I do not want these holes to be perfect. 
What I intend to do is use some adhesive to stick these pieces of wood to the base and also secure them with some brass pins. So just like the rest of the boat, I'm doing this very freehand. And now it's hammer time. Very carefully, I'm hammering these brass pins into the wood, which is more difficult than it looks because brass is quite soft and they bend very easily. I think I'll speed up this job because it did take quite a while. I hammered the pins all the way through into the bench in the end. Once I'd done this, I just lifted the base and all the pins came out of the bench. Then I took it over to the belt sander and ground off the pins where they stuck out underneath. And eventually it looked like this. Also using the belt sander, I sanded the sides to match the wooden rails. Recently I've splashed out and bought a few varnish brushes. I quite like these flat brushes, and this is just one of them. I bought them from different manufacturers to see which is the best. And this is a good test bed because I'm really not worried what this looks like because once I painted it with the varnish brush, I wiped off the varnish with a cloth. I'm going to repeat this process a few times until I get a really smooth and really thick surface of varnish on the wood. Then I'll fit the base in the boat. I will need to make some shape mountings underneath that fit into the hull. This will hold the wooden floor at the correct angle so that the crankshaft lines up perfectly with the propeller shaft. I will probably do this in the next episode, but for now I'd like to say stay healthy, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website, and click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists, and by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch, and by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.